Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast from Chief Meteorologist Don Slater. Well, at this point, the uh, forecast for this storm is a little bit uncertain. However, at this point, we want to give you what kind of things we've got going on. Dorian threats to us, again, keeping in mind that uh, if this thing does takes a left turn and comes into our part of the world, it could be different. But right now, it looks like winds will be a moderate threat. We could see some wind gusts uh, into the Hampton Roads area uh, that would be close to tropical storm force in wind gusts, but steady winds of 25 to 35 miles an hour. Tidal flooding, I think it would be a limited threat. I think it would be a minor to perhaps low-end moderate. So be anything real, real big. Rainwater flooding, now that's perhaps a, mod, a moderate threat uh, because of the fact that we could see bands shift northward on into the region, which could contain uh, some very, very heavy rain. Tornado threat, no, not really. That relies to the east of the path of the storm. So if the storm uh, ends up being a little bit to the west of Hatteras, for example, uh, there could be a tornado threat for Hatteras Island uh, coming on up. And we'll show you what's going on uh, with these forecast models. While you still have Monday, today, pick up. Do this. Uh, pick up loose wind blown stuff. Uh, it's stuff you got to do anyway. Things that could be blown away in a little bit stronger wind. Uh, now, if you, the storm does draw closer into the area, secure lawn furniture, that kind of thing. We always have a problem uh, with, uh, with uh, trampolines, for example, uh, and also patio umbrellas. Make sure those are down and stowed if you can. And as far as trampolines, maybe flip them over and store some of that lawn furniture on top of it to weight them down. I want to show you what's going on with the storm. Again, it's hardly moved today at all. Uh, here's where things are from 7 o'clock this morning on to the present time. And this is on the radar showing you what's going on. They're getting those bands of uh, brief bands of heavy, heavy rain and wind along the Florida coastline. But it looks like they'll avoid a direct hit. Certainly the uh, Bahamas has taken a direct hit as it's floated very, very slowly. Each of these represents a reporting time uh, again. So and it'll notch a little bit northward, westward, northward, westward during the day today. But basically it's been stationary as of this time. 130 mile an hour winds coming up overnight tonight. There's where things are coming up by tomorrow afternoon. 125 mile an hour winds. So it has weakened quite likely a bit. 125 at 2 o'clock tomorrow night. Uh, there's where things are by Wednesday afternoon. But now the cone starts getting wider as it's off the coast of Georgia and south of Charleston, east southeast of Savannah uh, by that point. Here's where things are by 2 o'clock in the afternoon on Thursday. Cones getting a lot wider by that point as it's almost due south of Wilmington. There's where it is. According to the center line of this cone, uh, it's over Hatteras. They're very, very close to Hatteras, but the thing about it is this cone is really, really wide. And it's moving on off uh, away by Friday afternoon at 8 o'clock. Now, if this happens, we could breathe a little bit of a sigh of relief, a big sigh of relief, because it's likely to really motor once it moves on off. Uh, 90 mile an hour winds coming up by Friday afternoon, and uh, again, moving on off, uh, on off towards the Canadian Maritime Provinces. I want to show you two forecast models. Take them with a big grain of salt. And we'll also show you the confidence meter behind it. The red is a little bit messy, but it's a good way to show you two forecast models. The, the red one uh, is the D, uh, Euro, and the yellow one is the GFS. The GFS has been really pretty good on this one. There's where things are tomorrow morning at 7. There's where things are coming up by Tuesday evening. Uh, take you on through time. On into Wednesday afternoon at 3. You can see the GFS uh, is a little bit faster. The yellow one is a little bit faster, and it has been a little bit more steady on this. There it is. It's close to Wilmington by Thursday evening. There's where it is by Friday, uh, excuse me, Thursday night, Friday morning, midnight, uh, close to about Moorhead City, moves offshore by Friday. And this is very, very close uh, to what's going on with the Hurricane Center forecast model. But again, low confidence once we get out uh, a little bit further in time. That's what's going on with those two forecast models, which are pretty close to what the Hurricane Center says here in the next seven days. We're really watching, especially for late Thursday and into early Friday. We'll have another update coming up uh, during the uh, 6 o'clock newscast.